Hello, it's me, Joy. Welcome to Reading with Joy, where you get to read with Joy, because that's me, that's my name, and we all get to read with Joy because we love reading stories, and we love reading them with silly faces and silly voices too. And I might use some today in today's book. It's Maisie Goes to the City. It's by Lucy Cousins. Do you know this book? Do you know any of the Maisie books? Well, come on then, let's get started. Maisie and Charlie have come to visit Dotty for the weekend. Welcome to the city, Dotty calls. She's just moved here. Oh, they're at the coach station. The road outside is really busy. Brum, brum, beep. What a lot of traffic and what giant buildings. The streets are crowded, so you have to walk quite slowly. There are lots and lots of shops. Come and see the toy shop, Dotty says. It's huge. When the signal goes green, it's safe to cross. The store is full of shoppers. Charlie likes the escalators. Maisie likes the lift. The toys are fabulous. Charlie wants to buy them all. Maisie sees one to give Dotty as a present. She pays for it, but oh dear, where, where are the others now? Are you lost? Suddenly Maisie wishes she was safe at home. Peacock makes an announcement on the intercom. There you are, Maisie. Dotty holds her friend's hand tightly. Time to eat. Dotty brings them to a cafe in a square. A busker plays music and the friends share a pizza. Afterwards, they play. Even the park is busy in the city. To get to Dotty's flat, they need to take an underground train. Our stop's on the blue line, Dotty says. It's a squash in the carriage. Hang on tight, everyone. It's been a lovely day, says Charlie. Thank you for having us to stay, says Maisie. It's nearly dark. Stars are shining. The lights are bright and busy too. They'll go twinkle, twinkle, twinkle all night long. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Hey, should we read it again? And this time I will interject with some comments of my own. I'll just say some stuff, yeah? <laughs> Let's do it again. Maisie and Charlie have come to visit Dotty for the weekend. Look, they're at the coach station. Who can you see? I can see penguins, crocodile, a mouse. That's Maisie. A chicken and a cockerel. I can see a snail and Dotty there. And then we've got some birds above and we've got a, what is that? A skunk? I have no idea what that creature is. And a monkey, a monkey in a taxi. They're all at the coach station. The road outside is really busy. Broom, broom, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Can you make a noise? You make a noise with me. Are you ready? You make a beep, beep, beep. Oh, can you do me your best car noise? Ready? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, I like your noises. Fantastic. What a lot of traffic. And what giant buildings. Have you ever been to the city? Somewhere really, really busy. They've got really high buildings and there's lots of people moving about. Oh, it's very busy. The streets are crowded, so you have to walk quite slowly. Just try not to bump into anybody. There are lots and lots of shops. Should we see what shops we've got here then? So we've got oh, cake shop, my favourite. 
Ooh, sweeties as well. Is the sweetie shop your favourite? Mm. Oh, we've got a bookshop. Very good. One of my favourites. We've got clothes shop and oh, a shoe shop as well, I think, at the end. What's your favourite shop? Is it the sweet shop? It is, isn't it? Sweet shop. I knew it was. Come and see the toy shop, Dottie says. It's huge. <gasps> when the signal goes green, it's safe to cross. Look, it's the green man. It means you can cross the road safely. Look at all those signs. There's tons of signs. Wow. And there's the toy shop. Do you like going to the toy shop? Oh, come on, let's go inside. The store is full of shoppers. Charlie likes the escalators. Look, there goes Charlie Crocodile. He's going up the escalators. Do you like them too? Can't go up with a pushchair though, can you? Sometimes we have to take the lift. Maisie likes the lifts. Going up. Whoop. The toys are fabulous. Charlie wants to buy them all. I think I would too. It'd be very difficult to make a decision, wouldn't it? Maisie sees one to give Dottie as a present. Oh, that's very kind, isn't it? Wow, what toys would you like here? So if Maisie bought you a present, what would you choose? Mm. Well, I like the castle. I like the paints. <gasps> would you go for the plane, the train, the dolly or the rocket or the books or the soldiers or the <gasps> balloons? Oh my goodness, this is just too much choice. I think I'd be like Charlie. Just give, just give me the lot. You just buy me the lot, okay? She pays for it, but, oh dear, where are the others now? Oh no, she wasn't looking and they'd gone and they weren't concentrating. Are you lost? Suddenly Maisie wishes she was safe at home. It is safe at home, isn't it? But I tell you what, what's more exciting than a toy shop, eh? <laughs> so Peacock makes an announcement on the intercom. Maybe you've heard this at the supermarket. Uh, Please, uh, uh, little lost mouse in aisle five. Little lost mouse in aisle five. Please come and collect immediately. <laughs> there you are, Maisie. Dottie holds her friend's hand tightly. Good idea. Don't let go, especially when you're outside and all the crowds. Mmm, <gasps> time to eat. Dottie brings them to a cafe in a square. <gasps> they are eating my favourite. Can you see? A busker plays music. I think it's a monkey on a guitar. It's always nice to listen to a bit of music on the street. And the friends share a pizza. Um, yum, 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 yum. And there's all those birds on the statue probably waiting to be fed some breadcrumbs. Afterwards, they play. Even the park is very busy in the city. Oh, look, he's splashing in the fountain. Hey, those guys have done well, haven't they, to get a swing? Sometimes you have to wait a long time for a swing. Here they are at the underground station. To get to Dottie's flat, they need to take an underground train. Our stop's on the blue line, Dottie says. Can you see the blue line? Lots of wiggly lines there. It's a squash in the carriage. <gasps> Hang on tight, everyone. Ooh, don't fall over. Oh, going round the bends. It's been a lovely day, says Charlie. Thank you for having us to stay, says Maisie. Look, she bought her the paints. Ah, oh, I think Dotty might like to do some Dotty pictures with the paints. Do you think so? She likes dots, doesn't she? She's wearing a Dotty dress. It's nearly dark. The stars are shining. And the clock says it's seven o'clock. City lights are bright and busy too. They'll go twinkle, twinkle, twinkle all night long. What a fun little adventure they've had in the city there. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this book, Maisie Goes to the City. Are you going to click on one of my other videos too? Are you going to join me in another story? I do hope to see you in the next video. See you kids then.